has everyone mics on the table? Uh, the team to play against France on Sunday is as follows. Um, Ken Healy, Rory Best, Mike Ross, Devin Toner, Paul O'Connell, Peter O'Mahony, Sean O'Brien and Jamie Heaslip with Connor Murray, Jonathan Sexton, Dave Carney, Robbie Henshaw and Keith Earls, Tommy Bow and Rob Carney. Uh, the replacements are as follows. Ricard Strauss, Jack McGrath, Nathan White, Ian Henderson and Chris Henry along with it, Owen Redden, Ian Madigan, and Luke Fitzgerald. So is it hard to train injured, or is that a selection point? Uh, it's, it's, it's a mix of the two. Um, we felt that Keith played pretty well last week uh, amongst uh, a pretty flat effort, and uh, he played exceptionally well last time. He was in the Millennium Stadium at centre, and at the same time, we, we, we do feel that uh, Jared got through training completely on Wednesday and trained very well, but um, we do think if we put him back into the game on Sunday um, that it, it would aggravate the foot. There's still a bit of swelling post-training uh, on Wednesday and we just felt that it was pertinent to, to leave Jared for another week. We are guaranteed a game next week and um, whichever game it is, uh, we want to try to make sure we've got a fully fit squad to select from. Yeah, it was in another really tight call. I think uh, Dev has been a big match player for us. He, he, he's done really well. He, he gives us a little bit more line-out uh, capability. Um, and we do believe in the, in the back end of the game, Ian will add value. Uh, again, you know, we, we're trying to make sure that we've got a few things covered for next week as well. So it's, it's a bit of a balancing act, act at the moment, having qualified, but being very, very keen to qualify at the top of the pool um, and at the same time knowing the reality that regardless of where you finish in the pool, you're going to have to play next week with uh, a side that's that's incredibly well capable because either of the opposition we would run into would be uh, would be very, very difficult. In relation to Ian Henderson's selection, how do you think he would react to the fact that he's on the bench this week? Um, yeah, look, I think <coughs> Handy will prepare like, like he always will. Um, you know, he has been no stranger to coming off the bench for Ireland and making an impact and you know that's what he'll be gearing himself to do. Um, there's a lot of sort of pressure put on the bench that, that they need to be as prepared or even more prepared than the guys that are starting. Um, you, you never know when you're going to come on but when they do come on there's a lot expected of them and you know I'm sure that'll be something that, that he'll take in a stride and um, you know he'll look to add something when he comes on. Peter San Andreas said this morning that all the pressure is in Ireland, there's no pressure in France. <laughs> is that my really? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, um, I haven't really spoken to Philippe about it. I, you know, he, did, he did tell me uh, that they were fitter than they've ever been and, and, and that they were, they were more ready than they've ever been because you know, they have to go backwards and forwards to the top 14. And, and you know, he, he, I'm, I'm not sure all the pressure's on us. We don't have 14 or 30 professional teams to select from. And, and uh, you know, we just work away in our own bubble and um, we understand that there's pressure and uh, I think there's been you know there's been pressure on us a number of times in, in recent in recent years there was pressure you know to win in France two years ago there was pressure uh, to play South Africa with a number of injuries and, and guys came in and did the job for us and there was there was pressure to not just win in Murrayfield uh, earlier this year but but to win by as, as great a margin as we could so I, I think the players respond really well to that pressure and um, there's, a, there's a strong core of leadership in the in the group and um, I, I, I'd say they're conscious of the pressure but more excited about the challenge. Joe, so France have been pretty uh, clear about what they're, how they're going to target Johnny. I mean, they talk about it all the time, I suppose. I suppose it's only natural that teams will target 10, but have they been over the top at all in what they've been saying? Look, I, to be honest, I, I haven't really uh, had too much of a look at it. I, um, I, as I said, we try to we try to stay in our own bubble and, and prepare as best as we the best we can. I, I think we were pretty well aware of, of who was likely to be in their team, and I, I don't think there were too many surprises in their selection. Um, therefore, we we know that the last time we played them, the first ball they got. Um, you know, they came straight down Johnny's channel and they, they made the same sort of noises probably about what they were going to do and 
I know one thing about Jonathan Sexton is that he won't be faulted for courage and, and he won't step out of the way um, and he puts himself in harm's way but uh, he, he's, he's a big strong lad Jonathan and um, you know, I, I, I think that uh, that gives us a bit of confidence that if they do go down that channel uh, Johnny will be ready for them and um, certainly you know the, the guys coming off the back of the scrum or the line out to, to connect with them and and the guys that are outside him, the likes of, of Robbie Henshaw, who, you know, again topped our tackle count last week. He, he made 16 out of 16 tackles. He's, you know, he, he's been really uh, effective for us as well. So, you know, I, I think within within the group, um, yeah, that, they're really looking forward to the challenge, and and they know it's going to be a, a heck of a challenge.